thanks you for making time to have a conversation with me. Yeah. Um, I just I'm trying to understand a little bit about how you work yeah. because every psychologist have their own style. Yes. And I know you do a pretty broad spectrum of work. Yes. You do a bit of psychodrama. Yes. You do couple therapy. Yeah. Well, psychodrama. Psychodrama. Yes. So all, all that. The objects. Yeah. yeah. And and sometimes people don't understand what those things are or how they work. Sure. Um, so probably let's start with psychodrama. Okay. Can you yeah. explain us a little bit what what that means? How is a session? Mm. If I go to a psychologist for the first time and it's someone that does psychodrama, maybe the mm. first and second session, how do they look like? Uh huh. Yeah. Well, it is. It isn't something that everyone's um, encountered before. So it certainly is. I guess I start from the way I approach any client. Yeah. It's to get the relationship. It's to get a connection with them, so I can work out what their world is like where they are at in their world and where they'd like to be. So then I will look at the different modalities that I use and what might help them the most in that goal to get where they want to be. So I guess it's fairly practical in my mind. Yeah. And sometimes it's very clear to me that person isn't going to be comfortable to get out of their chair, to move around, because psychodrama is an action method. Mm -hmm. It's very much about um, choosing objects to place so ideas and concepts that are in the mind can be put out and then person will get some freedom and distance from that and look at that a bit more clearly and, they, and that could be a part of themselves or a relationship that they're in that they want more clarity maybe they can be helped to understand the other person's point of view so that psychodrama is great, and I've been training and doing it for years, so I really know the value of it. But not everybody is interested mm -hmm. in in doing that sort of work. Yeah. Sometimes it's more gentle, so this is where I would bring in something like emotion focus processes that I've worked I did the training for. Mm -hmm. um, hmm. So back to psychodrama. It can be really helpful if someone is grieving, for example, and they have some unfinished business with the person who's died. So to get, um, have the experience of actually talking to that person. So they might not be there, but they have an object. And people's imaginations are amazingly fertile. So if they can be warmed up you know, to actually feeling like they're with the person, mm -hmm. They can have what really is quite a real experience of a contact, of a last conversation, of a, I'm so sorry I did this, or, you know, you were so awful to me, or whatever it is, you know, to really express that. And then they can change places and be that person. And for some people, like say you have a, um, a person whose mother or father is very violent to them, they don't want to be like that at all themselves. But to actually have the chance to be that violent person that's been so negative in their life, it's actually weirdly, it's empowering. Mm -hmm. Because then they, oh, oh, I can sort of understand that actually my father was really, um, he felt really powerless and that's why he needed to be that way. So kind of more understanding can come yeah. in. And freedom or liberation or empowerment themselves because they, because it, <clears throat> when you're trying to avoid being something you kind of cut off from a whole part of yourself because we all have that within us you know we mm -hmm. have the capacity to be angry and if we shut down on that it's it's a whole potential that you're not able to realize so giving a person experience of that can be very empowering so there's another um, group of clients who can be very assisted if they get a chance to look at their own internal system. So say for example someone is having uh, a very heavy internal critic. Mm -hmm. yeah? So in that case I might get them to choose that internal critic, so an object to represent that, an object to represent other parts of themselves. and so. They can be like, like the manager or the team leader of a team, which is themselves, <laughs> and um, negotiate 
with the critics say, oh, look, we need to give you a different job description. You know, you have skills, but you're not using them the way that you're working for us. Yeah, so kind of using that creativity. I love the creativity that people have. So that, that's a less threatening way probably to use psychodrama. They might sit in the chair and just choose objects to represent those parts of themselves. Yeah. That's cool.